Congress has stepped up its attack on Narendra Modi after his aide Amit Shah's alleged role in using state machinery in stalking a young woman from Bangalore. Now, the Congress is hitting out of the Modi government in Gujarat for compromising women's safety, privacy and misuse of state machinery. Kartikeya Sharma, editor of politics, now joining us live in the newsroom. Kartikeya Congress actually upping the ante and now raising the stakes. Just yesterday, they fronted their women leaders who in fact tore into the BJP demanding a judicial probe. And now today we have Manish Tiwari in fact um, intensifying that demand, demanding the action be taken against Amit Shah immediately. Uh, see, two things have happened. All said and done, uh, when, when leaders are saying that this election should not be personality centric, Jairam has been saying that this election is between Congress and Bharti centric. And the reason why it has become leader centric is that uh, apart from the agendas or apart from the issues, it's actually what people say, what they, what they portray themselves from rallies and social media has become important, has become primary. Now, this is one reason why that you see so many uh, normal charges, which probably would have been ignored two decades back, are landing senior politicians, including Sonia Gandhi, Narendra Modi, in the Court of Election Commission. Right, Karthike, let's just understand what the BJP stands on, on this whole issue is. They are dismissing it, they are constantly claiming that the Congress is scared ahead of the election season. But do we see any action actually being taken on the issue? You know, Sanjana, certain certain issues, certain personalities were untouchables. Now, uh, just imagine the tenure of Vajpayee government, 1998 and 2004. Uh, Vajpayee was not taken to uh, the Court of Election Commission by Sonia Gandhi. And Vajpayee personally did not attack Sonia Gandhi. And there was not a single case where Congress President had to, you know, appear before the Election Commission or uh, uh, her council had to go to the Election Commission. Now, what has dramatically changed in past 10 years is that both Rahul Gandhi, Narendra Modi and Sonia Gandhi, they are, they are locked in a mortal combat because the uh, strategy has completely changed. And it changed from the, the fact the way Narendra Modi won the third election in Gujarat. They felt that by attacking Narendra Modi on certain religious and social issues, you give him power. He grows in size and stature. Now that completely backfired, Narendra Modi came back. So that that shift took place and they decided they're going to attack him and counter him on every issue lest he again occupies the center stage. So one consequence or one fallout of this is that most of these uh, charges are either going to the Supreme Court for defamation, some has gone to the Election Commission and secondly, uh, stakes are very high. Narendra Modi is a Prime Minister candidate for the first time in BJP. He cannot expect to remain Prime Minister candidate for the next time because it's a party with a different DNA. And Rahul Gandhi, it's a different issue though he can be the party president for the next 25 years but then he's going to lose a lot of credibility and the sort of intergenerational war which we see in Congress uh, will get more accelerated in the sense that uh, the old guard uh, will again find a place in case Rahul Gandhi fails. So this is a result of wider and larger politics within BJP and Congress and also this election is very personality centric.